There is Swedish fish in my teeth. I can't tell on camera. Hello! My name is Alex. And I'm Nicole. And we're from DrWhoCocktails.wordpress.com. Want to wish everyone out there happy holidays? Yes, very happy holidays. We're all ready for the Christmas special on the 25th, where they're giving us the lovely gift of getting rid of Matt Smith. No! You didn't know? That's not a lovely gift. That's that a very sarcasm. sad gift. Sarcasm. It didn't... Yeah. Maybe sad. It's okay. Anyway, <laughs> so we did an eggnog based cocktail a few weeks back and as we all know is the season where you can actually buy eggnog in stores. Yes. So we thought we'd take advantage of that fact and show you how to make it before all the eggnog disappears from the stores because it turns out we're actually really bad at making eggnog. Yeah, we try <laughs> a lot. Uh, my mother apparently knows, but I she's yet to show the me. The genetics haven't trickle yeah, down. Yeah, I, I don't know that that's really a genetic thing. Although I made really good eggnog when I was living in Egypt. Yeah. Okay, so, so anyway. for this cocktail, um, you are going to need vanilla vodka, um, butter, scotch, schnapps. Um, you're going to want bourbon, eggnog, unless you make your own eggnog, in which okay. case your eggnog we, that you we, would have on the stove, or I guess in the fridge by now. Yeah. We salute you if you do that. Let like, us know what you do to make your eggnog, and uh, we can we can link it um, from our website so that other people who want to make their own eggnog can. I want to make my own eggnog. I'd love to drink this with my own eggnog. That'd be yeah. cool. I've totally done it before. I totally have, and it was really good. After you've made the actual beverage part, um, you're going to garnish it with Swedish fish. Is that trademark? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and graham crackers. You really don't need many graham crackers per drink. Drink. You. This is probably going to be too much for one drink. If you're making a bunch of drinks, then you're going to obviously want a lot more graham crackers. You will need um, something that will measure out a cup, liquid measuring tool to measure a cup, um, unless you want to measure eight ounces, in which case go for it. Um, a jigger or some other measuring tool that will measure in ounces. And liquid ounces and a bar spoon or just a regular spoon would work too. But I like the way the bar spoon looks because it's got a little swirly thing, so I can cut it. Yes. Okay. So Alex, how do we make this drink? <laughs> First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our butterscotch schnapps. So that's five times fast. Butterscotch schnapps. No. Yeah. Don't. No, don't. Yeah, don't yeah, even. No. Don't. Once. Once was too much. You can measure out one and a half ounces. What is this again? Butterscotch schnapps. <laughs> Uh -huh. I said five times fast, not five <laughs> times, generally speaking. One and a half. <laughs> You're going to take your bourbon of nondescript branding. What? Your head, the top of your head's cut off. Damn it! <laughs> Do you mind if the very top of your hair is cut off when you're up straight? Not really. Okay. You're good. Okay, next you take your bourbon and you're going to measure out one ounce. And then you're going to take your vanilla vodka and you're going to measure out three quarters. And the last thing that we're going to do as far as making the actual drink goes is you're going to take your holiday eggnog, measure one cup, okay. spoon. Now what you do for the garnish is a little more particular than the measuring out of, of levels of alcohol. Um, you can get something like a rolling pin really is probably the best thing, but I mean use the back of the spoon. Or if you're buff you can just karate chop it. And you're gonna break your graham cracker. <laughs> break yeah. your, thank you. You're gonna break your graham cracker up. Now the thing about the graham cracker, um, be careful if you're using a rolling pin because you really don't want it too fine. You want it to be sort of coarse because the idea is that it looks like breading. 
like, say, fish fingers. Where are we going with this? I, I have no idea. Couldn't have anything to do with the title of the drink. No, which we never said. <laughs> Ha! A sifter. If you're really, really particular, like certain people, if you're just throwing a party with some of your friends that you really don't care. The sifter's good because then you take your graham cracker crumbs okay. and then you pour them into your sifter. Strainer. Strainer. <laughs> Drain out the more powdery pieces so that you're <laughs> left with the sort of coarser grade trimmings. And then you're going to sprinkle them lightly across the top until the whole thing is covered. If you want it to be sort of thicker, then you can. You can put more on or less if you don't We've got a pretty thin layer going here. But it's up to you. And then the last thing you want to do, take some Swedish fish. I like to take a little knife and I like to cut I'm just sort of diagonally into the fish. Viciously. Viciously, diagonally. And then you can put them on the side of the... So there you go. That's the fish fingers and custard. Fish fingers drink. and custard. Shout out to Matt Smith. We're really sorry that you have to go. We're really glad to see you um, on the stage in the West End doing American Psycho. That's going to be awesome. I He read... saw a shirtless picture of you earlier and freaked out. So... <sighs> No, I read, I read good reviews, so I'm, I'm excited for your success in your career. I hate you. <laughs> no, you don't. Anyways, happy holidays from us at drwhococktails.wordpress.com. Um, don't forget to subscribe and follow the blog. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Fish, fish toast. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>